how to add a KPI to your role centers with a flow field using just the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you add one of those boxes in a, in a role center with your own KPIs, your own uh, indicator of, of something, um, just using the simple object designer. Let me, let me show you how. So here is a role center and I have a box here, the first box, ongoing sales, I got quotes, orders and invoices. Maybe I want to keep track of uh, credit memos also. Uh, so the very first thing I need to do is figure out what is what is this. And I do that by opening the page inspector. I use that with control alt uh, F1, control alt F1. Uh, you can also get to it from uh, from the question mark help and support um, and then when you open that you just see what is the page that you're on but if you you click nearby the thing that you're interested in uh, you can see that this one has a red box around it so this is a page inside a page so we can see that this is the 0365 activities but more important that this is the activities q table 1313 so Let's remember that and go into the simple object designer and uh, I'll go and create a new field. The new field I'm going to create would be in table 1313. Uh, let's call this uh, credit memos. And I want the field to be a flow field. So I want Bizcentral to calculate how many flow fields, oh, sorry, how many credit memos I have. So I specify that uh that this is a flow field but then i need to go into field settings and tell what kind of flow field is this and we decided this should be a count flow field um there are other ways you can cal calculate sums or statistics the minimum amount maximum amount, average amount you can see if something ex exists or not or you can go and uh, look up a value there's videos on these other methods so you if if you want to see how to do that you can find them on the channel but in this case i want to do a count um and i want to count the the sales header table uh so that's number 36. i don't care i'm not counting a specific field like if you're summing you're summing a specific field like the amount field but now we're just counting records we're just counting how many credit memos do we have um but we need to figure out we need to specify the correct filter for that and the filter for that is that because in the same table we have orders and invoices and quotes and stuff like that so we need to go in and tell and this specific flow field has a filter defining what records that you count so i will tell that on document type i want to set a constant filter i hit the three dots and the symbol object sign tells you that these are the values you can set filter on uh, as a constant I want to do credit memo and um, now I'm kind of done so now I have to find my flow field so the only thing we need to do is actually uh, let's call this ongoing credit memos we need to put it on the page and remember we saw the page name and it was clearly the 0365 activities it was not something we're at accounting portal so this is the page we need to put it on uh add after and then let's go and add it after oh there's so many let add it after ongoing sales invoices that's it so now we're done so the only thing we need to do is uh hit publish and as soon as i hit publish a lot of things happens more or less at the same time it happens in series the very first thing ha that happens is that the simple object designer will look at what you have created and see if there are obvious things missing. Uh, when that is done, it will sit down. Can a piece of software sit down? It will write the code. It will write all the AL code needed. And in this case, we have created a fields. So we need to create the field in that table. We need to put it on a page. So there's a couple of things that need to be written. As soon as it's done writing the code, it will build, compile, sometimes is the, the technical term, it will build an app file, uh, which is your extension. Uh, just like if somebody, if just like if you ask me to, hey Eric, can you create this 
new queue on, on the role center, I will write the code and I will use a compiler and build an app file and I'll give you an app file. So now two things happen at the same time. The app file that it has produced, it got downloaded. So you can take this app file and go to your production environment and upload it there into extension management and deploy it. But I also clicked yes while I was talking. Um, so I clicked yes to that this extension should be deployed in the sandbox I'm working in. So, and that has happened while I was talking. So we are done, deployment completed. So the only thing we need to do is exit out. And now you can see as soon as we exit out, it says error and administrator changed one or more extension in the application. So the page that you're working on had to be closed, sure. I would hit control F5, which is always a good thing to do after you're deploying anything. So your session is refreshed and, uh, and, and you'll not see witness like we just saw. So let's scroll down. And now we have ongoing credit memos on our role center. Um, this has a zero in, so let's actually, uh, let's, uh, let's verify that it works. Well, zero leaves look right, so let's create one. Let's create a credit memo. Uh, a datum, I think, is one of the customers in this database. Let's see if that turned out to be correct. It is. So now we have one. We can go back to uh, our, our role center, and now we have one here uh, as uh, in, the, uh, in the indicator. So that is how you can uh, create new indicator queue boxes on, on a role center using just the simple object assigner without writing any code at all. Um, check the link below if you need to or want to learn more about the simple object assigner. Thank you.